Hey guys, this is Aaron Smith with whoisaaronsmith.com and I just want to show you how you can quickly make something that looks like this because you can put this on your Aweber opt-in form and it's really, really easy guys. I'm not even kidding. Like some people are like, oh my gosh, Photoshop, that's scary, but really it's not. And so first you want to figure out what dimensions that you want. So if you go here to image size, I like to do mine in pixels because that's what your blog usually is in. So just to give you an idea of size wise, this is a 282 by 128 pixels. So that's just one thing that you want to do. So first you need to go to new and on here it's going to ask you how wide do you want it. And so we want. I'm just going to copy this and make it look like that. So yeah, 280 by 128 is what the thing was, right? And so you can click down here. I don't mess with any of these other things. I just make it so make sure you have pixels right here when you do your width. And then here you can do a white background to do a background color or transparent. And um, transparent is more for like when you want your background to show up of where you're putting your actual picture. And then background white or self-explanatory. So we're going to do background color. <coughs> And click yes and it oh so it came up white and the reason is because if you look down here this is your background color already set to white and this is your foreground color which is black and so to make a color background you just go up here to new fill layer and solid color and you just click OK and then it'll come up with this color scheme thing that you want to do now we want it to be this purple color and so if you just drag your mouse over here it'll come up with a little um, what do you call those things a dropper and you just click on there and it'll automatically just give you whatever color you click on so it's that purple color which is what we want because my blogs in purple it's kind of girly I know and so now over here this is where your layers are and I'll explain those in a little bit so right here you, already, you click on that T to get your text you just click on in here we want to get my free course enter the action marketers guide okay now it's off to the side but if you go up to the very top where the arrow is click on that you can move it over here okay and then go back to your text you highlight it and you see how it's kind of bulging out like that if you go up here to there's a kind of a crescent with a T on top of it and it's when you put your mouse over it says create warped text click on that and it says style click on the down arrow and go to bulge and so right now it says plus 50 and as you can see it makes it huge so we want to do like plus let's do 8 mm, that looks good for me so plus 8 and you got that right there right and so how do I get to make what have all those cool features with the drop shadow? That's very easy to do. All you have to do is click on the layer up at the top and go to layer style and click on your blending options. And here, this is, I just went back here and I messed around with all the different things. And so you can add drop shadow, inner shadow, outer shadow. The drop shadow is the one that goes behind and then you have all these different options of what you want it to look like your opacity which is if you want it all black or if you want it kind of a gray background it just makes it so it's more see-through that's what opacity means right so this one I want to really stick out and so I make it all the way black just like I did up here and then this silver stuff that kind of makes it pop out a little bit more is the bevel and emboss and so bevel and emboss you can go up here you can change the depth, the size, and soften it. You can just play around with these things and just get it to where you think it looks cool, right? That's all you have to do. That's all I did when I started doing this um, Photoshop stuff because I had no idea what I was doing when I started doing it. Now, my dad knows a little bit about it, and so he kind of guided me in what I was doing, but for the most part, I had no idea. <laughs> so, okay, so we got my free course, Action Markers Guide. Now, this is a layer. This text right here get my free course as a layer the purple part is a separate layer and so 
Now you want to create another layer of text. So sometimes you have to click off it and click back on it to make it so. Now this new text that I'm going to make is another layer. Okay, so I've typed it out now. And as you can see, it's kind of big. So we're just going to take the text tool again and highlight it all. And then go up here to the sizing chart and let's go to like 14. It's a little too small, so what, 18? That might work. And then if you just use your arrow keys on your keyboard, you can do what's called a nudge. And it's a lot easier than trying to get your mouse to go where you want it to go. But it's still kind of big, so let's go to like 16. Okay, perfect. And on this one, I put another drop shadow behind it just to make it pop out a little bit more, but you don't have to do that. And now what you want to do is go up to File and go to Save As. Now if you want to be able to edit it and come back and do it again, you want to save it as a Photoshop file, a PSD. But if you don't, let's do, we're going to call this my example. So save, as a, save it as a Photoshop if you want to go back and edit it. But then if you want to put it in your blog, which is what we're going to do, I would save it both as a PSD and a JPEG or ping or whatever you want to use. So click save. And there you go. Now you're done. And so let's go on to the next video and I'll show you how to make this into a cool looking opt-in form. See you on the next video. Bye.